juggernaut among racehorses, the thoroughbred is a popular choice among cowboys and outlaws due to their ability to outrun most of the competition, perfect for quick getaways and fast transportation. Here's everything you need to know about the thoroughbred. Six different variations of thoroughbred are available in Red Dead Redemption 2. The two common coats include the Dapple Grey and the Blood Bay. Also two uncommon coats include the Brindle and the Seal Brown. Lastly, the two special coats include the Reverse Dapple Black and the Black Chestnut. Thoroughbreds are classed as racehorses and as such have impressive speed and acceleration stats. Unfortunately, this leaves their health and stamina stats dangerously low compared to the average horse. Common Dapple Grey and Blood Bay Thoroughbred coats start off with 3 health and stamina, 4 speed which maxes at 7, and 3 acceleration which maxes at 5. At max bonding, you'll be looking at double the health and stamina. The Brindle and Special Thoroughbreds also start off with 3 health and stamina, have 7 speed which maxes at 10, and 5 acceleration which maxes at 7. And just like the common Thoroughbreds, these coats will also end up with 6 health and stamina at level 4 bonding. Finally, the Seal Brown Thoroughbred has 4 raw health and stamina, 6 speed which maxes at 9, and 4 acceleration which maxes at 6. Once you finish bonding with this coat, you'll end up with 7 health and stamina. Far more agile than your average horse due to race handling, thoroughbreds will respond quicker to button inputs, making them a very smooth ride. This handling allows for more precise maneuvers and can be great in a pinch to lose enemies over rough terrain or just have an accident. Do be mindful that race handling isn't for everyone. Unfortunately, thoroughbreds don't make the best combat horses. Their shallow health pool will have you worrying about every shot coming your way. Bonding will help pad their poor health stat, which effectively doubles at max bonding. Consider engaging on foot to avoid any accidents with your thoroughbred, or fight from a distance with a rifle to minimize the chances of a critical shot knocking out your pal. If you plan on hunting with a thoroughbred, think again. These horses are extremely sensitive to their environment and will drop you immediately if they sense danger. Leave your thoroughbred behind and go hunt on foot, or swap it out for another breed if you're more of a hunter. Future thoroughbred owners will be pleased to know that acquiring one can be a rather simple process. The common Dapple Grey and Blood Bay variants cannot be bought from any stable, but spawn in wild herds right from Chapter 2. Head on east of Valentine into the Heartlands and scout out for some herds. They are one of the more uncommon spawns, so be prepared to camp out under the stars for a few nights to reset spawns. If you don't fancy breaking a wild thoroughbred, you can also steal one from Mormon and Bounty Hunters. I highly suggest Blackwater Bounty Hunters if you haven't hit the epilogue yet as they frequently spawn in on Blood Bay Thoroughbreds. If the Brindle Thoroughbred is more your type, you can purchase this coat in the Strawberry Stable for $450 upon reaching Chapter 3. Players wanting the Brindle in Chapter 2 will need to keep their eyes peeled for a random encounter with a woman who will challenge you and your steed to a race against her Brindle Thoroughbred. This encounter typically triggers in Lemoyne between Rhodes and St. Denis. You can steal this horse if you wish, but I do recommend completing the two encounters with her first for some cool permanent buffs before snatching her horse. Now say hello to Rachel, the seal brown thoroughbred. This unique horse is given to players for free upon reaching the epilogue. Do be careful with Rachel as she isn't just any old thoroughbred. Like the Raven Blackshire and Buell, this thoroughbred is a one-of-a-kind horse. She cannot be replaced as her coat isn't purchasable anywhere and doesn't spawn in with Lawman. Be sure to take care of her if you wish to make Rachel a permanent addition to your stable. The last two thoroughbred coats come as DLC alongside the game. The Reverse Apple Black is available with the Special Edition and Ultimate Edition of Red Dead Redemption 2. You can pick up this beauty from Valentine's Stable for free in Chapter 2. Just like the Iron Grey Ardennes, this horse can be purchased again for free if your existing Dapple Black dies or disappears. You'll be buying a fresh horse, so all bonding progression with your previous Dapple Black will be reset. 
finally, the black chestnut thoroughbred is exclusive to the ultimate edition of the game. This coat is online exclusive and cannot be used in story mode without the use of cheats. Players can claim their black chestnut for free upon unlocking the use of stables in Red Dead Online. A breed that requires some extra care from its rider, the thoroughbred is a nice option early to mid game for players wanting the wind in their face. Be mindful while riding these horses, as crashes and falls can often lead to fatalities no thanks to their miserable health pool. Consider bonding with your thoroughbred as soon as possible for that much needed boost in health and stamina. Expertly handled, a thoroughbred can be just as good as any endgame breed. Kick up some dust and leave all your troubles behind with the thoroughbred. Thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you found it helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.